Well, if you aren't hoping and looking forward to something, then what are you doing? Yeah. Why bitch. Do? Yeah. <laughs> this turns into <like> negative <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Imagine if that was you just stupid. like, if it was like reverse psychology, motivational posters. What are you going to do with your life today, you piece of fuck? <laughs>
this is like a totally different story. <laughs> I don't know why you saying that reminded me. But uh, one time there was, you know, we lived near that creek. And well, there was the a, bees I was telling you about. Oh, God, they started now. Wait, if you jump in the water, I bet they leave you alone. That's what happens in the real world. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, God, they didn't. <laughs> oh, no. A bee never forgets. <laughs> You were saying? Oh, uh, there was a snapping turtle in the water, and I was really little. And I just ran to my dad crying, and I was so scared. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> much, much like right now, am I right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get that loud. That just really spooked me. <laughs> it's understandable. But, uh, I just remember crying to my dad, and then he just sort of saw it and chuckled and picked it up by the back, and then just set it down on a rock really far away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember, why was I so scared? Yeah. <laughs> well, you just didn't know what it was. Yeah. It was just like, that's a strange creature that it makes no sense to me. It looks like a rock, but it's not. Like, What do I, I do with that information? I was wearing, I was barefoot. Like, I didn't have any shoes on. And I was standing in the water it was in. And I was like, oh, God, what if it bit my toe off? <laughs> I, I feel like I would be afraid of that as an adult. <laughs> like, it just scared me. Like, I remember never being afraid to walk in the creek with my shoes off until that happened. Yeah. And now I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not about that life. I feel like creeks and stuff are like natural water places where you swim. Yeah. Just anywhere that's not a pool <laughs> is like not scary until you come across something that weirds you out. Dude, I'm terrified of open water that's not a pool, like lake. Oh, God, ocean? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shocks and stuff. Yeah, it's just, well, like, there is dangerous stuff, I feel like, in most of the time in those places, but it just doesn't matter most oh, of the time. Get that sniffer. What happens if you get in the sniffer? Oh, it tickles. Well, I we're helping you... him deal with his sinus issue. Uh, oh, uh, I forgot we gotta go on the ocean. Yeah. Wee! I gotta stop doing that. Does that just make feathers. you invincible? Yeah. Indestructible! You can only do it for as many gold feathers as you have. Mm hmm. There's a gold, gold feather a second. Uh, something like that. And some high rates. But I remember, like, I, for the, like, the longest time until I had the opportunity to swim in a creek or, like, lake or the ocean, yeah. which might have been when I was, like, 12 or something, I was afraid of either of those because I was like, I've never been in one of those. I don't even know what happens in those bodies of water. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did, and I was like, oh, it's fine. Like, it's just water. Maybe there's some stuff that lives in it, but they don't want to fuck with you or anything. But then, like, one time I saw a crazy fish or something, yeah. <laughs> like, underneath me. Oh, Ugh, They got to stop just appearing like that. <laughs> it's so scary. Oh, it, just, it just hunts you down. Hey. 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 Let's give him a hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. And then you just clap really slowly. <laughs> You're going to be uh, Kazooie's Aladdin. Because he's Aladdin. I can show you the world. <laughs> Is that Aladdin? I think so. That whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> That's Aladdin, but I don't think I can oh, show Oh, is you. the other one a different song? I think it is. <laughs> oh my god, I always thought it was the same. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't have any evidence to the contrary. Oh, dude. They're getting so much smaller. I know, and farther away and harder to jump to. Oh god. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's the last one. Oh, yeah. But yeah, you just see a weird fish in the water and you don't want to fuck with that shit anymore. Yeah, dude. It's so weird how little we know of the ocean. There's a ginger. Ginger! The thing is, though, anything that scares you because one bad thing that happened, happened once. Yeah. Even if you did it, like, a whole bunch of times before that. It's kind of lame because... It's kind of lame. <laughs> there was a lot of times you did it before and you liked it. Yeah, dude, but... So always like... If you want to swim in a creek, and you used to do it all the time, but then you got stung by a wild eel, <laughs> <laughs> which may or may not live in creeks. Don't hold me to that fact. <laughs> you know, that's probably not going to happen again, or at least not for a while. <laughs> probabilities and whatnot. Yeah. But we only need one spook, man. That's all we need to scare us straight. <laughs> it's one good spook. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is that? What is what is that? Can I climb it? Oh, I can climb, climb it. it. Oh. 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 I need to hit it with my face. Whoa. That's my guess. Is that I gotta hit it with my face. What is it though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think it's a target. Oh look at that beetle. Beetle. 
<laughs> beetle. I'm gonna beat him down because he's a beetle. Oh god. I don't like beetles. <laughs> has anyone ever? Icky. Has anyone ever edited wings like beetle wings onto a beet, like the vegetable? Probably, dude. Titled there's, it beetle. There's a lot of people. If not, I'm sure someone has now. <laughs> you know what? Often I find myself <laughs> to this playthrough of making jokes by first asking, <laughs> by just pitching it to you as like, has anyone done this before? <laughs> but maybe I should ask that after I've made the joke <laughs> instead of being like, hey, you think that's happened? <laughs> I like I like what you're doing, man. Don't change you. Thanks, buddy. Just be you. You too. What is the meaning of life? <laughs> um, I don't know. Find what you like, do what you like, then die and stop doing it. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Oh, look at that belly. Look at that belly slide. Bottles is around here somewhere to teach me how to use the speedy shoes. Oh, dude, I can't wait till we learn the speedy shoes. We're going to be Sonic fast. So Sonic fast. <laughs> but the meaning of life, um, I think, might be speedy shoes. <laughs> Going Sonic fast. Oh, there's bottles. Bottles. Sonic fast. But in oh, my tree. in my therapist's office. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's a reveal in and of itself, <laughs> but, uh, there's a sign up that says it's, you know, it's in that kind of cheesy font and things that, you know, yeah. a cheesy sign would be like the in your therapist posters. Stuff. Yeah. Or like the, the way a poster looks in a classroom. You're going to miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just like there's an agreed upon aesthetic for things that are hung up in classrooms yeah. or doctor's offices or whatever. And it says like the essentials of happiness are um, something to do, something to hope for, and something to love. And, you know, in a lot of ways, I think the speedy shoes <laughs> <laughs> are those things. Oh, they just appear out of nowhere. Because you love the speedy shoes. Yeah. Because they make you speedy. Oh, and God, that's something dude. to do. And the thing you can hope for is to be even speedier. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's just a, that's a silly, it's like a funny post. Not funny, but it's a, <laughs> it's just a funny post. <laughs> it's a silly little um, cheesy poster that I've seen before that I'm like, oh, I actually kind of like that. It's rem- simple. It's simple, but actually quite Man. helpful, you know. I like those. I remember uh, one that upset me a lot as a kid whenever I was growing up. Like it did the opposite effect of what it was supposed to. Uh huh. It was um. I'm sure everyone's heard it that um. You can't grade a fish on how well it can climb a tree. Oh yeah. That, that was or some variation of that. Yeah, that was, was in my common. fifth grade classroom, and uh, <laughs> I remember looking at it while taking the standardized testing, and getting so mad because that was exactly <laughs> what I was doing. <laughs> Being graded. <laughs> yeah, like I remember um, I'm really bad at math. Like, oh God, I hate math. Yeah. And I remember being stuck on a math question and looking up and seeing that and going, I hate all of this. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, it was the biggest smack to the face. Like, hey, don't judge this fish by how it can climb a tree. Yeah. And that's what they were doing. <laughs> I was just like, I that's, hate you. That's... I hate all this. <laughs> That's funny because there is like definitely ways you can read into a lot of inspirational or like happy messages yeah. that just make you pissed off or upset more. <laughs> like also like maybe in a broader sense, I feel like a lot of people, if they're like, man, what is life's purpose? They're like, oh man, it's love. Like you got to f- love is the most important thing in the world. <laughs> if you say that to someone who doesn't feel like they have a lot of it, they're like, oh, well, uh, fuck you. <laughs> that makes me feel like an asshole. Oh, but that- it's like, <laughs> it's not all of it. No, it's, no. It's great, and maybe it means anything. You know, you can... And also, like, people also have specific interpretation of what that means. Like, oh, that means you have to have a, a girlfriend or, like, a good relationship <laughs> with your parents or something. There but has to be like, someone else in your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it reads like if you're in, yeah. in a position where that's not something you want to hear. Maybe love yourself. Yeah. Drops the mic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And that's also what I like about that uh, poster I was just talking about. It is that it says it says something to love, and yeah, that's that's great. But it also says something to do, yeah, and something to hope for. And those are kind of like, you know, easier to to obtain sometimes. Well, if you aren't hoping and looking forward to something, then what are you doing? Yeah, Why bitch. Do- yeah, <laughs> it just turns really negative, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Imagine if that was you just stupid. like if it was like reverse psychology motivational posters. <laughs> 
What are you going to do with your life today, you piece of fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One just says, eat a fuck. <laughs> That's so negative. <laughs> Get positivity out. <laughs> Find a way to turn that around. <laughs> eat a fuck. Someone's like, I haven't been eating fucks my entire life, and now I've realized that's what I was meant to do. <laughs> well, what, what's Grunny going to say? I am almost dead. This is a problem. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Death, uh, something you want to avoid. <laughs> God, dude, that is a big cactus. Oh, I remember. There was a, there was a poster. Cactus. I'm looking. <laughs> Sorry. If you looked at a fraction of a cactus, you'd be looking at a fractus. <laughs> fractus. Oh, oh, I killed him already. He's not here anymore. A bee! <laughs> yes. There was a poster in my, I think, seventh grade classroom. Yeah. I always loved this. It had a picture of, like, a giraffe, an elephant, and, like, other animals you would see in a zoo. And they all had cigarettes in their mouth. And it was just, like, a close-up of all their faces in a <laughs> row. <laughs> and it said, like, it doesn't look cool when they do it. It doesn't look cool when you do it either. <laughs> what and are they talking about? That looks so fucking cool. Exactly. Cool. Every time I read it, I was like, that giraffe is smoking a cigarette. That's the coolest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> That's so opposite of what they want to achieve. <laughs> Holy fuck, have you seen the smoking giraffe? <laughs> like, if you had a friend that pulled you aside and was like, dude, I got a giraffe to smoke a cigarette. You'd be like, I need to see that a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sign me up. <laughs> Oh, bees! Obviously, I wouldn't want the giraffe to build up a habit and take up smoking. I would. But... Because <laughs> then he would look cool all the time. All the time. But I think, you know, just a couple of times. <laughs> Why not, man? Just That giraffe should be able to live the life at once. Yeah, dude. Let the giraffe do. <laughs> if, you, if you show a giraffe cigarettes and it wants to continue, let it. <laughs> it's a giraffe. What are you going to do? If, if it wants to file my taxes, let it. <laughs> Don't giraffe take away taxes. my giraffe. Oh, God. Oh, 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 come on. Oh. It's a bunch of giraffe bullshit. <laughs> bunch of giraffe bullshit. <laughs> Is it like a minotaur, but like giraffe bull? Yeah. <laughs> giraffe bullshit. Like a person who's half giraffe, half man. Why is bullshit specifically for bulls? Like, why is it bullshit? Why isn't it cat shit? Or crow shit? Yeah, I like crow shit. <laughs> That's some crow shit. <laughs> this is crow shit. Like, it's just so weird that we're specifically like, oh, it's bullshit. <laughs> it is kind of weird. Maybe it... Maybe. That's some bullshit right there. <laughs> it's so weird. It's bullshit that we say bullshit so much. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it has something to do with the uh five, four, oh, I'm so not three, make it this time. Two, one. Yeah, that was even <clears throat> worse. It's crow shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it has something to do with how pervasive cows are in American agriculture. Maybe. Man, it's weird that they gave us so much extra time anytime we did something else, but this one's like, nah, you gotta get it down to a sign. <laughs> it's true. I think I got a better start on this one though, because I'm further up. Yeah. I hate that it shows you open like we know it's opening <laughs> yeah and it's counting down the whole time yeah. it's really tormenting it went from 25 to 15. <laughs> Whoa. I'm trying to think of another animal that's like just as intense to be talking about their shit um rhino this is rhino shit dude fuck rhino shit oh you got it yes oh zero seconds on the clock you photo know. finish oh I, th I thought that was the noise of him dying and i was like but why <laughs> <laughs> How could you do this? Oh, is that a underwater mummy? You're an underwater mummy. Dude, that's <laughs> that's just a group of underwater mummies. And I think a smiley face? Oh, it is a smiley face. How cute for those dead things. It's a little Easter eggs. Easter egg, get it? There's all these eggs on the ground. Oh. <laughs> oh, I bet that water's the tree. Nope. What tree's if, still thirsty. <laughs> what if instead of on Easter, we collected trees instead of eggs, and on Christmas, we put all our gifts underneath an egg? That would be weird. It would be a big egg. And Santa Claus was the Easter Bunny, and the Easter <laughs> Bunny was Santa Claus. <laughs> At least then, once you had, these, you had all these kids collecting trees, right? Yeah. 
that you'd be able to build a house afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Because your kids come back with all these trees. <laughs> I just imagine you giving like a bunch of kids axes, send them in the woods. All right, now come back with four trees. <laughs> Mama's got to build a new house. Housing gonna build itself. Then how are we gonna have Easter egg Christmas? <laughs> Wait, why are you doing it again? I'm not. I'm just getting that note I missed. Oh. Going all note hunting. Nope. Get it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Does it work? You be the judge. You got it. Hey, why don't you let us know if it worked on the next episode? Next. Next episode. Well, man, you got this whole counter thing going, and really, I think you might be setting yourself up for failure because you can't be right every time. I'm just curious. But I think it is 12. <laughs> I'm 12 for 12, dude. I'm going to keep continuing my theme of making fun of you for it and then letting you be correct. <laughs> <laughs> what if I'm wrong this whole time? You are wrong, okay. especially in the next episode. Yep, next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.